Okay, sixth grade, lesson 80. This is on using scale factor to solve ratio problems. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a word problem. Okay, so listen and listen for the ratio. Okay, the ratio of little boys to little girls in the nursery was three to two. Three to two. So little boys to little girls is three to two. If there were six little girls total, how many little boys were there? Six little girls total, how many little boys? All right, now when you get a ratio and then you get an actual count, an actual amount of people, what you're gonna do is called a ratio box, okay? So what I want you to do, how many kids were there total? Well, it didn't tell us. It just told us there were six total little girls. But the ratio was for three to two. So what I want that you to do... not make any sense. Ratio means that there, every 30 boys, there were two girls. Every 30? Three. Every three boys, there were two little girls. That's okay. called a ratio. That means there's more boys, right? There's more boys. Okay, so we're going to find out how many little boys and how many little girls from this ratio in actual count. So what you're going to do is draw you a box that looks like this, okay? What you're gonna do is draw two lines or three lines, okay? And you're gonna write ratio up here, mm -hmm. and you're gonna put actual count, which I just put AC, which means the actual amount of number there are, okay? You're gonna draw a line, got it? And what are the two things we are looking at? Little boys and little girls, right? Yep. So I'm going to do boys to girls, so I'm going to put a B for boy, Okay. G for girl. Okay? Now, what was the ratio? Three to two. Whatever they mentioned first is what they mentioned first here. So little boys to little girls, three to two. So you're going to put three boys, and in the girls spot, you're going to put two girls. See what I filled in so far? Mm -hmm. And then the actual count is... Six. I'm going to put six little girls, so six actual count. Okay? Now, this last box we're not going to learn today, but it's actually going to learn, it's going to be your total completely, but we don't have to learn that today, but I want you to go in there and start writing that. We're not actually going to figure it out today. Okay. Okay. Now, there's a real easy way to figure this out. How do I get from two to six? What can I multiply two by to get six? Three. Yep. So what I do to this one, I'm going to do to this one. Okay, nine. So two times three made six, and three times three made nine. So they ask me, how many little boys did I have? Six. No, I mean this nine. is boys, yeah. So nine is the answer. And then if they ask me, how many total kids did I have? Nine plus six is 15. They didn't ask us that, so we weren't actually needing that information. But you're going to eventually learn how to do this one, so I'm going to show you how. What's in the first box? For you me? can say five, but it's not important. Oh. You could just add it if you wanted to. Okay? Yeah. So you understand it? How uh -huh. we did this? This is called a ratio box. All right? Now, you help me come up with the ratio box for this next problem. Okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and draw a box. Okay, let's just do two of them. So this is ratio and this is actual count. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's figure out what we're doing. It may not be boys and girls this time. The ratio of flowers to weeds in the garden was 2 to 5. So, flowers to weeds in the garden was 2 to 5. So, I'm going to put F for flowers, W for weeds on my left side. So, every two flowers has how many weeds? Five. Five weeds. Okay, so this is my ratio, R, so I'm going to put all my information. Two flowers, five weeds. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, then it says this. If there were 30 flowers, that's an actual count, 30 actual count flowers in the garden, how many weeds were there? Well, how did I get from 2 to 30? Times 15. Yes, very good. And so we do this one times 15. So I'm going to go over here and multiply that. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1, 5, 6, 7. 
So, how many weeds are there? 75, 75 weeds. Okay? You feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay? So you're actually going to come up with one of these boxes for every story problem that has ratio and actual count. All right? That's lesson eight.